What's up, YouTube? Country CEO once again in the house, man. Got some interesting topics for you today, or uh, just particularly one, but many facets to it, right? Well, how to safely bag up, right? How, how do you do that, right? Is it something unique about it? Is it a strategy to it? Is it a science to it? Because it look like some guys just are natural and do it, right? I, but yet, statistics prove that it's not just a natural thing. It's something that you have to be intentional about, right? Because at least every year we hear about fatalities that happen on jobs whereby somebody was bagged over and crushed or another vehicle was bagged into. Uh, and I'm talking about dump trucks, right? I'm not talking about just regular vehicles, but just in the construction industry. Uh, somebody, you know, individuals have gotten killed, run over, that kind of thing, right? So what are some safety tips for bagging up in this dump truck business. All right, let's go with it. Well, let me say to you right at the onset of this video that backing up is a very important thing because guess what? The majority of what you're going to be doing other than driving on the road, you're going to do a lot of times uh, bagging up, right? A lot of time, right? Excuse my Louisiana education. You're going to do a lot of time backing up. All right, because when you pull in on jobs, more than likely you're going to have to pull in, pull up and then bag up to where the contractor wants it. Right. All right. It's just going to happen. Right. So you're going to spend a lot of time bagging up. So you may as well get used to that and understand some different things about backing up. All right. So what country CEO can you tell us about backing up? Well, first thing is when you pull in on the job, man visibly inspect the area, right? When you're pulling in, you know, you're looking, you're looking at the area, more than likely you're going to be able to identify where they probably want it at. If it's a dirt pad or uh, if it's the asphalt machine, you're going you to already see, okay, where am I backing up to, right? So when you pull in on a job, then visibly inspect what's behind you, what's in the area, okay? All right. And then most of the time, most guys are going to be directing you, you know, you know, this or pointing or something of that nature. Or if, like I say, for instance, if it's the asphalt machine, well, you know where you're going to back up at. But still, even when you identify where you're going to be backing up at, it's still important that you do a couple of things. First thing is, once you pull in, identify, see what's around, pull up, and then you get ready to bag up, right? First thing is looking in your mirrors, right? Making sure your mirrors are good and clean. Nothing's obstructing your mirrors. And the old saying is still true. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear, right? All right, so make sure your mirrors and you're using your mirrors when you're bagging up. You're not just nonchalant uh, out there doing that, right? All right, and so uh, uh, many instances, it's always good too that when you pull it, pull in, wait for somebody to bag you up, right? A lot of times I've seen guys, especially if guys are getting paid by the load, oh man, they hurry up, uh, driving into the job real fast, and then they bagging up real fast because they're trying to hurry up and get the load off, go get another load because they're getting paid by the load, right? All right, no good. I let them go. Go ahead because when you get in a rush, that's when you make mistakes, all right? And then don't ask me why, but I even seen some knuckleheads on hourly jobs. I like to in a rush and hurry in and bag up, right? That stuff will catch up with you at some point. All right, so, you know, in take your time. Wait for somebody to bag you in, all right? Especially in the dark, right? If it's at nighttime, we've been on these night work uh, with the asphalt. I've talked to you about that a couple of times. I pull in, pull the park brake, and I'm waiting, looking in my mirror until I hear that guy, hear him calling for me, or I see him begging for me with the light, right? All right, so that's what I do. So visibly keep your eyes open to see what's going on. Second thing you do is to safely bag up on jobs, blow the horn. All right, it's just a good practice, y'all. You get on the job, you're getting ready to bag up. When you pull in, pull up, before you get ready to, to uh, bag up, just gong, gong, pull the horn. Guess what that does? That's your road horn, right? Not your, not your one on your steering wheel, but your train horn, right? Guess what that does? That gets everybody's attention. They hear that loud horn, trust me, everybody's going to turn around and look. They see the truck bagging up, all right? All right, and then like I say it again, wait, either wait, or they'll tell you to hold up, or they might tell you to come on once you blow the horn, right? Govern yourself accordingly, okay? All right, so blow the horn. Third thing is, you need to make sure 
that you got a backup alarm on your truck and then you got your reverse lights working, right? All right, backup alarm, which sounds the alarm when your truck goes in reverse. T, T, T. Guess what that does? That allows people working on a job to know, okay, something's coming. All right, in the dark at night, your reverse lights. Now, here's a nugget. Here's a nugget. Uh, typically, what I do is I get the round spotlights installed on my back of my trucks, right? In addition to the reverse lights, I get these round spotlights installed on my truck into the reverse light system. So when I'm bagging up, that doggone uh, round LED circular light shoots real bright. And so uh, it helps two things, right? It's going to help those behind me to see that big old bright light coming towards them with the alarm going. And then also it helps me because at nighttime, it lights up that whole area directly behind my truck. All right, did y'all get that? I just gave you another nugget, man. Round spotlight. Get your mechanic or you, if you're mechanically inclined, wire it in to your reverse light system, mount it on the back of your truck at the bottom by your light somewhere, and it'll light up that whole back when you get ready to back up. All right? All right, look, if this information has been valuable to you, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, share this video. Also, want to be a member of this channel, Country CEO. We're doing channel memberships at this time. You ought to check that out if it's uh, something that may interest you, all right? All right, so finally, um, some things to remember about backing up. Don't rush or be impatient. When you rush or be impatient, that's when mistakes are made. That's when people get hurt. That's when people get killed. I know we're out here, we're hustling, we're grinding, we're trying to get in and get out, but man, look, it's not worth running over somebody and hurting somebody, killing somebody by being in a rush or being patient, okay? Uh, I'm the type of guy, I, if I'm on jobs with guys like that, I just let them get around me. It ain't worth it to me. I let them go, all right? Number two, um, workers many times don't see you. Just assume they don't see you. Blow the horn. You know, whatever you got to do, make sure they at least see you. You make some kind of eye contact in that in that uh, side view mirror so they'll know that you are coming. OK. And then lastly, uh, be aware of other trucks. Get on the CB. You're bagging up. You know, you blow the horn or you can either get on the CB. All right, guys, I'm bagging up or whatever, whether it be a loader man. A lot of times on these uh, uh, yards, the loader man, I've seen loaders bag in the trucks and tear trucks up. I've seen trucks back in the loaders. Loaders on yard typically going to have a CB. Holler at that loader man. Tell him, say, hey, I'm bagging up or whatever, right? It's all about communication and just good old flat on common sense, okay? All right, so look, that's all I got for y'all on how to bag up safely on the job, right? Recapping it for you, visibility, make sure you're inspecting, coming on a job, uh, wait on people to, to bag you in at night, definitely wait. Uh, blow the horn, make sure somebody hears you and sees you talk on the CB. Make sure your backup alarm and your lights are working on your truck, right? All right, just some simple little tips to help you. Stay in out, safe out here in this dump truck business, right? All right, so look, I'm out of here, man. No grind, no shine. We gone.